Hi, I'm going to show you how to make these crochet Christmas bulb covers and the pattern is down below. I used an F hook. The bulb I purchased at Michael's and this pattern fit around it perfect. The dimensions for the bulb that I use is about 11 inches around and from top to bottom it was right around 6 inches. So if your bulb is right around that size, this pattern will work great for it. However, uh, if your bulb is a little bit bigger or smaller, then you may have to adjust your hook size, but that's about the average size for this bulb. I did find it at Michael's, and so you can always look there. Okay, so the pattern is down below. Let's get started. I'm going to start out with the magic circle. If this is your first time to do the magic circle, the link for that is down below. I'm going to start out with a chain three that counts as a double crochet. And then I'm going to yarn over and work a double crochet, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, and I need a total of 12, including the chain three and the magic ring all together. I'm going to close that ring, slip stitch on top of that chain three to close. Make sure you have all of the 12 double crochet, including that chain three. going to slip stitch in a new color and then chain two it's going to count as a half chain three it's going to count as a half double crochet and a chain one then in the next stitch I'm going to work a half double crochet I'm going to yarn over pull through all loops on the hook chain one and then in the next stitch I'm going to work another half double crochet, pull through all loops, chain one, and then just repeat that all the way to the beginning. Going to slip stitch in the half double crochet into the chain two and then I'm going to add a new color, slip stitch into the chain one space, and then chain three, which counts as a double crochet. Then I'm going to double crochet again, yarn over, insert the hook, grab the yarn, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, then chain one, and then in the next chain one space, I'm going to work two double crochet. And then chain one. And then repeat. And each chain one space gets a two double crochet and a chain one until you reach the beginning. So it's going to look like that. Slip stitch, chain one, and then slip stitch in the double crochet, which is the chain three. Slip stitch in the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain one. Then I'm going to use another color change here and slip stitch into the chain one space. chain three, double crochet, and then double crochet again, and then chain one, work three double crochet in the next chain one space, so one, two, and then three, and then chain one again, 
and just repeat that three double crochet in the chain one space and then chain one. And you'll just repeat that all the way around until you get to the beginning. Slip stitch, chain one, and then slip stitch in the chain three. Slip stitch into the next stitches until you get to the chain one. And then I'm going to do another color change. There's no right or wrong on color changes, it's whatever you prefer. And then I'm going to slip stitch into that chain space. And then chain three. Work two double crochet in that same chain one space. chain two. Instead of one you're going to chain two and then work three double crochet in the next chain space and then chain two and repeat that around. And then slip stitch in the chain three. And then slip stitch into the next stitches until you get to the chain two space. And then I'm going to do another color change. Slip stitch into that chain space. and then chain three. And then work two double crochet in that same space. And then chain one. Instead of chain two, this is a chain one, which is going to make it create more of a shape now and you're going to repeat that around three double crochet and a chain one in each chain two space. Now you're going to slip stitch and fasten off. It's going to look like this. You're going to take your yarn needle and weave in all your ends. You need to make two of them so you can fit it around both sides of the bulb and you'll take your yarn needle and connect it. It's going to look like that. So I made two and I weaved in all my tails and now I'm going to connect them by taking my yarn needle with my strand of yarn and I'm going to connect both ends together and once I do that about a quarter of the way then I'll start placing it around the bulb and I can start connecting it that way as well. So make sure you're connecting both of the ends of the sides for the cover together. Okay, so now it's starting to take shape and I need to, I connected it all the way around. Once I placed it around the ball, I just sewed it right on it. 
by connecting those two sides and then I'm going to weave in my ends on both sides and then this will be complete. You'll just weave them in and hide them and then cut your yarn and it will be all finished. So this is what it looks like when it's finished and you just put a hook on it and you can place it on your tree or give it away as a gift. I think it turned out really cute and nice. The pattern is down below. Thank you for watching and please subscribe.